Carlene dessert plates insert clutch for the chocolate Hershey bar and a cutout for the goodie bags. Let's go ahead and start. On your right hand side, let's go ahead to, let's first go to images and we're going to type in what we're looking for. These images, I found them in Google and I just uploaded it to Design Space. As you see, I already had started my design. So let's go ahead and select this one. This was the image I found in Google. Insert images. Let's just go ahead and size it real quick just to take it out the way. And let's bring in our shapes. Yep. I'm going to bring in a square, a circle, and then I'm going to bring in my clutch. For the clutch, you go to projects on your left hand side, search, and you're going to type in clutch. And it's right here the pebbled fox leather clutch. Click on the image, click on customize. Oh, we're going to have to do that later on because you cannot add at the same time. Let's go back here. We're going to have to delete all this first, add the clutch. And then we can add the images. Just go back to projects, click on clutch, select the image, customize, click on replace, and here's our clutch. Now we're going to go back here and select our image. You'll see it at the bottom of the screen, insert images. Size it real quick. Bring in our shapes. On your left hand side, click on shapes, square, and then you bring in a circle. Let's go ahead and size the square. It'll be a five by eight, five width and eight to height. Lock it. And let's start with this one first. I'm just gonna go ahead and duplicate this one several times in case I mess it up. I don't have to go back to images. Let's go ahead and size this one to a six by nine. I want to make sure I can grab all of it. Let's go ahead this one. And I don't want the cat in the in this insert. Okay. And let's go ahead and select the entire image and we're gonna click on slice. We can delete that one. And oh, I don't like this black tree. So let's go ahead and try and take out this tree. Let's go back again. And let's just go ahead and get that tree out of the way. And we're going to go ahead again highlight the entire image and we're going to click on slice and then we delete what we don't need okay we don't need this one okay we can work with this one okay and let's go ahead and resize it so five by eight and we're going to go ahead to the right hand side and hide it. If you click on the eye, it will hide your image. Clicking back on it will bring it back onto the canvas. Now let's go ahead and take this one again and let's take our circle, which will be a four by four. And this insert will fit a seven inch plate. 
it depends the style of the plate. Okay, let's grab this one and let's bring in our circle to the front, arrange to the front. And let's go ahead and I'm just going to go ahead and play with it. I don't want the cat in the picture. So we're just going to go ahead and bring it on just like that. to be fun just like this highlight the entire image and slice delete that one and we hide that one and we can delete this one and we go to the right hand side and hide okay we can delete this one let's set it aside just in case now let's go ahead with the clutch it'll be a seven inches wide by 7.6 and we lock it we go to the right hand side without moving the clutch go to the right hand side and click on detach hide the score lines grab one of your pieces And let's go ahead and arrange it to the front. And let's go ahead and size it just like this. And again, I do not want the cat in the picture. Let's go ahead and do it this way. Let's bring in the score line because I want to see. Okay, it should be below the score line. It'll make sense in a minute. Lock it, go back to your right hand side, click on the eye so you can hide the score lines, highlight the entire image and slice. Be careful not to move the clutch itself, just go ahead and move this, whatever you don't need, and we're going to delete. What I need is just the front part because we're going to glue on this to the clutch later on when we cut it. See, it fits perfect. Move it to the side. Hi, now highlight the clutch. You have several options for this. Either you delete this one or you duplicate it before you slice or you go back to images on your left hand side and bring it back in. What I do is simple. Highlight the entire image and weld. Without moving the clutch, you bring back in your score lines. It's going to the back. Go to arrange, send it to the front. Highlight entire image and attach your score lines again. Okay, now this, arrange it to the front. This will go here. And we don't need this one. And then let's bring in our circle and our square. Okay, there we go. And add the wording onto each one of these. Okay, now let's go ahead to text and type in your text. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with the clutch first. And then I'm going to type in her name. Okay. Now with your text clicked on, we're going to go ahead and go to alignment center. And then we're going to go ahead, go to font, and look for the font you would like to use. I always go to filter, click on my fonts, it'll be easier. If you want, you can just scroll up and down looking for the font you prefer. Or you can type it in if you remember the name. So it's right here. Next, we're going to go ahead and change the color. I want it to be yellow. So with the image, with the wording still clicked on, you're going to go ahead in between line type and fill. Click on that box which identifies the color of your wording. We're going to go ahead and click on for the whatever color you prefer. And let's go ahead and size it. 
Now I'm going to duplicate this because I don't want to do it again, over again. And, oh no, it wasn't that, it was this right here. Unlock and go ahead and place it wherever you prefer. I'm going to place it right here. Let's go this back and hide the clutch because I need to highlight this image, attach, and then we're going to go ahead and flatten. And then you can bring in your clutch if you want. Okay. Next, I wanted it separated because I wanted this one to go here and then the name right in the bottom, but that's fine. I wanted to make the name a little bit bigger. I might make it a little bit bigger. Don't know yet. If you want it bigger, what you do is go ahead and separate the name and you can resize it. Okay, once you do that, highlight the entire image again, attach and and let me duplicate it before I flatten it. Highlight the entire image, then you go ahead and flatten. Now for this one, unlock and let's size it. Okay. Yeah, maybe I'll do it later, I don't know yet. I want to put the name bigger down here. Okay, once you do that, highlight entire image again, attach and flatten. Okay, once you do that, once you're done, before you click on make it, go here to the drop down arrow and select the machine you'll be using. I'll be using the maker today. Once you do that, we're going to go ahead and click on make it. For the project copies, I'll just leave it one. Why? Because we can go ahead and continue to print and cut from the other screen. Like example, if I, you all know, if I put six here, apply, I get overwhelmed, overwhelmed with all these mats. So I just like to leave it in one. And then when I click continue, this is the part where I send to printer and this is where I choose my copies. If I want five, I'll click five, leave the bleed on and do print. For the bleed on, if you click on that eye, it will give you the explanation of why the bleed on should remain well, should remain on. If your image has a white border, having the bleed on will eliminate it. So we're gonna go ahead and print. Once you print, you select the material you'll be using. I'm using 60 pound white cardstock. So I'm just gonna choose 60. And then make sure you have your blade in. Once you load your mat, it's gonna ask if you want fast mode. I click on yes for fast mode because it's not intricate cut. But for the goodie bags, I do not cut on the machine. I'll just cut it by hand because it's a simple square. If you want the machine, you follow these steps. Next, once that's done, you're gonna go ahead and click on the second one. Send to printer, you select your copies and print. Once that's done, you stick it onto your mat, load it to your machine and start cutting. Once that cuts, you're going to go ahead and go to your clutch. Now for the clutch, it's not a print and cut. It's a cut. I will load my black 60 pound cardstock to the machine and it will cut this image of the clutch on that black cardstock. For the print and cut, sometimes I get questions about that black box around the square or right here. That's called the registration marks. We need the registration marks in order to machine to recognize what it will be cutting. If you don't have the registration mark, something's wrong with your design space because it's automatically, there's no button that you can turn it off or on, automatically goes on the screen. It's very important that you see that black box around your images. Once you cut all of your images, make sure either you have when you cut your clutch 
either you have your scoring wheel in the clamp B or if you don't and you have the stylus, just, just go ahead and click on edit tools, click on score and stylus, stylus, sorry, this remains the same, click on apply and then that's when you start cutting. Once you do that, I'll see you back at the table so we can start assembling. Now that we're back at the table, we have the clutch cut out. What I did was on the score lines, I just went ahead and folded it. I creased it. Next we have our cutout for the front of the clutch. Next we have the cutout for the goodie bag. And I decided to separate the name and make it a little bit larger on the goodie bag. And I did the same with the plate insert. We have the 8x5 goodie bag, black goodie bag. We have the Hershey bar wrapper. We have our Hershey bar. We have our dessert 7 inch plate. And we have our double sided tape. First, let's go ahead with the Hershey bar. Just going to go ahead and add tape onto both sides. Go ahead and place your Hershey bar right in the middle and just fold. Set that aside. Next, what I'm going to do is apply glue. You can either use hot glue or any other glue which adhere this heavy cardstock. I'm going to use the Art Glitter Glue. It's called Art Glitter Glue. It's just the brand, the company name. It does not contain glitter. Since I bought a large bottle, what I did is I placed it inside the small one with a fine tip. That's better to handle. You do that and then get your bone folder, which I have one somewhere in here. I can't find it, so I'm just going to use this lever. Okay, you do that. And then next you grab your cutout. I'm going to add glue. Next, I forgot the Velcro dots. Okay, this is good. Now, we you can do Velcro dots or magnets, but since this is thin, Velcro, Velcro dots will work fine. These are the thin ones. Place it on top. You close it. And then next you take your Hershey bar and you just go ahead and place it inside. And there is your clutch. You can either put some beads or leave it just as is. Okay, we set that aside. Next, let's get our goodie bag. For the goodie bag, you can use double-sided tape. 
You can use hot glue, which I prefer the hot glue. Or you can use the art glitter glue, but it'll take long, longer, and you'll use a lot. So, with the hot glue, it will work. And just, up. Oh, I put it on backwards. I was about to put it on backwards. And just place it right here. I always like leaving a little bit on the side so it can show the color of the bag. It'll have a nice contrast. Okay, let's just do that. Do that. And then you grab your, for the plate, I do not use hot glue, nor I use the art glitter glue. I, I started with different types of plates not going to mention brand it was cheap plates that I started with then I realized that with the cheap plates it wasn't looking you know it, it wasn't appealing to me and then I I was using regular glue not the art glitter glue like the stick glue and it was not working for me either I don't know maybe I was putting a lot anyways what I did was I purchased the Creative Station, the Anna Griffin Zyron machine. It's a sticker machine. You insert the cartridge right there. Either it's a five inch cartridge that it can hold or the nine inch. So I have in here the five inch. So what it does is it'll create whatever label, whatever inserts you have paper it'll convert it into sticker it, it sticks so you just place it right here in the inside right here in the front and then you crank it up and you'll see it come out right here on this side my paper went back inside let me fix this Paper just folded right back in here. Ain't that something? Okay. Now we're gonna go ahead and just like this, and it has a blade. I'm running out of sticker. It off. Grab your plate upside down. You cannot place your insert, stick your insert on here because then it won't be food safe. Always recommend it if it's a clear plate right on the bottom. Peel it off and you go ahead and center it. And there you go. A little bit off on this side. It's no big deal. Okay. We have the seven inch dessert plate. We have the goodie bag. And we have the Hershey wrap. Thank you for watching. Thank you for your support. At the end of the video, I have 14 more to go. I will post a picture. And as usual, happy crafting.